hello, this is John from caveofprogramming.com and in this tutorial I'm going to modify my server program so that it can respond to post requests. So this isn't Android specific and your server program could be written in all kinds of possible technologies. It doesn't have to be Java, but just for the sake of completeness I'm going to show you how to create a simple servlet that can respond to post requests. And in fact, we've already got this servlet here that can respond to GET requests. And I'm just going to modify this one. And just repeat, if you do want more information about servlet programming, I've got this course um, here on udemy.com. And you can find out more information if you go to www.caveofprogramming.com. And you'll find links to all my courses there, including this servlet programming course and you can look at the first few videos, first seven or so, completely for free if you want to get started with servlet programming. But let's assume that you, you um, can already create servlets. Then every servlet has, well, actually every servlet can have a do get method, like the one we've been working with previously, and a do post method. And if you send a post request to your servlet, then the do post will be invoked. And the difference between do get and do post is that um, a get, well, a get request to a server will send basically data in a URL. It's like going to a URL in your browser. And that's fine for very small amounts of sending very small amounts of data like an ID. But to send larger amounts of data, you want to make a post request which doesn't go through the URL. It um, somehow streams the data directly to the server. And in your servlet program, if you're using servlets, you respond to post requests with a do post method. So just to show you this working, I'm going to say I've got my do post method in my servlet here, and I'm just going to say print writer out equals response.get writer. And of course, this isn't anything directly to do with Android, and you could use a PHP script or something else instead. And I'll just say out.println, let's say something like hello from serve server so that we can see something happening. And then let's also get the any post data that's sent. So I'll say request.get reader and that returns a buffered reader. So I'll say buffered reader br equals request.getreader and let's declare a, a string, string line equals null and then I can say here while and in brackets line is equal to br.readline this is pretty simple and you're probably familiar with this kind of thing already and while that whole thing in the brackets is not equal to null then, whoops, let's get a opening parenthesis and I'll say here out.println server read this and let's just echo back the line there. So when we make a post request to this servlet we should expect to see um, hello from server and then a bunch of lines echoing back whatever we sent in the post data. And I'm, I'm going to deploy that just as I did before, just by exporting a WAR file and sending it. But it will it will carry on working just like it did before. If you make a GET request, it's going to do the same thing that it did before. The behavior is only going to be different for a POST request. So that's enough for this tutorial. And in the next tutorial, I'm going to create an Android program that sends some JSON data via a POST to this server. So join me again then and until next time, happy coding.